The Precipitate Cock and the Unappreciated Pearl This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. A rooster once pursued a worm that lingered not to brave him. To see his wretched victim squirm a pleasant thrill it gave him. He summoned all his kith and kin. They hastened up by legions, with quaint expressive gurgles in their esophageal regions. Just then a kind of glimmering attracted his attention. The worm became too small a thing for more than passing mention. The throng of hungry hens and rude he skillfully evaded, said he, I faith if this be food I saw the prize ere they did. It was a large and costly pearl belonging in a necklace, and dropped by some neglectful girl, some people are so reckless. The cock assumed an air forlorn, and cried, It's really cruel. I thought it was a grain of corn. It's nothing but a jewel. He turned again to where his clan, in one astounding tangle, with eager haste together ran, to slay the helpless angle, and sighed, He was of massive size, I should have used discretion. Too late, around the toothsome prize, a bargain's sale in session. The worm's remarks upon his plight have never been recorded, but any one may know how slight diversion it afforded. For worms and human beings are unanimous that, when pecked, to be the prey of men they far prefer to be hen-pecked. The moral, when your dinner comes, don't leave it for your neighbors, because you hear the sound of drums and see the gleam of sabers, or, like the cock, you'll find too late that ornaments external do not for certain indicate a bona fide colonel. End of The Precipitate Cock and the unappreciated pearl.